All right, it's getting that time of year. Uh, the bugs are starting to chew into my plants. Usually they hit the hibiscus first. So I'll show you the, you saw the leaf of my, one of my Rosa Sharon plants and I've got some dinner plate hibiscus in the back that are getting eat up. So let's make some bug, some bug juice. Now for this, we're using Blue Dawn and water. That's it. Now this is a non-concentrated Blue Dawn. So I use a little bit more of it, up, up to a quarter cup. And that depends on the bugs and how much rain we're getting. Now with a quarter cup in there, it should keep everything away, including stink bugs. I do not spray it on the blossoms intentionally, but it won't hurt them if you do. It won't hurt bees if they come near there. But usually the taste of the soap is enough to get them away though. But it will keep stink bugs away. I don't know about Japanese beetles, but it will keep stink bugs away. So let me measure out a quarter cup and we'll add that into the gallon of water. All right, here's my quarter cup. And all I'm gonna do is, I got this up to the line, there's one gallon. And we will take this and just pour it right into the top, okay? Yeah, I got a little messy there. But, just let that sit for a second, it'll drain out. And after that, I will just lightly mix it up. Let the foam settle and we'll go at it. All right. All right, as you can see from the color, got it mixed up. There's a little bit of suds in there. Now I want you to keep in mind, if you have concentrated Blue Dawn, you can get away with as few as like three tablespoons per gallon. But since this is the non-concentrate, I use a quarter cup. Now let me take you out here and show you how I apply this. Okay. Alright. Now, here's how I apply this. Alright. I just spray it on there. Now it's going to take a minute for the soap to get out. Let me get some through here. Alright, we got soap. So, what you want to do is just lightly hit everything. Okay. And you'll have to go from different angles. Now, I never do this when the sun is on the plant. Okay? All you're doing is asking for trouble then. Because it basically makes magnifiers on the lens on the leaves. So all we do, and then if you got a lot of thick foliage, take your sprayer upside down and kind of Hit them from underneath, okay? And that's it. Now, you let this dry. So, I like to do it at the end of the day. That way the sun's down, it's got plenty of time to dry. And if you have a lot of rain, you'll have to reapply more often. But I usually try to keep a good eye on things and if I see any bugs, I know it's time to reapply, of course. But for the most part, this keeps everything away and keeps them off my tomatoes and off my other vegetables as well. Now the other thing to keep in mind is when you pick your tomatoes, it would probably be a good idea to wash them, or rinse them off. But being that it's dish soap, it's not really gonna do that much to you if you don't. Okay, well I hope you enjoyed this, it's just a nice short video, and please subscribe.